For a while now, I've been taking out my Hasselblad 500cm with tape sealing the seams around the film back because of light leaks. Without the tape blocking the light, here's what my film looked like. White glare bleeding well into the left half of the frame. So I recently ordered one of these light trap seal replacement kits from eBay. And in this video, I'll demonstrate how to use it. Here's our patient. This is a Hasselblad A12 film back. It was made in 1980. The nice thing about these kits is they include everything you need, even a little screwdriver. This cost about $26. Here's the screwdriver, and the nice thing about this is that it's actually magnetic, which helps with these tiny screws. And these are the light seals. There are two of them. In this particular package, the instructions are well illustrated and pretty simple to follow. Start by pulling out the dark slide. I'm saving the plastic case to hold the screws. The screws are small and fiddly. Dealing with the screws is the trickiest part of this operation, to be honest, especially for a guy with clumsy fingers like myself. Just work your way around and remove all the screws. Once you've gotten all the screws removed, carefully pop loose the faceplate from the film back. Be careful not to pop out that spring from the side of the film back, just leave that alone. There's one of the seals that we'll replace. It's not adhered, it just lies into that channel. Notice that the seal and the channel have the same shape. The folded piece of plastic is actually the light seal and the foam strip sits inside the fold giving it thickness to block the light. There's another thin strip on the back of the faceplate that is adhered into a very narrow groove. I used the tip of the screwdriver to pick it loose and then just pulled out the old one. I gave the metal a quick cleaning with rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no residue that'll get onto film in the future. Place the larger light seal flat into its matching channel. It's a little awkward because it keeps wanting to pop out, but if you lay a dark slide on top of it about halfway across before you lay down the faceplate, it'll hold it into place. Then carefully replace all those tiny screws. Be careful not to strip the slots by over tightening.
and voila, successfully put back together. But was the surgery effective? Okay, y'all, here I'm on location, sans tape. I won't lie, I was a little nervous that I might be ruining this film in that direct sunlight. I went out to shoot this historic, abandoned, 120-year-old country store. I recently posted a full video about this location, so check it out if you're interested in abandoned places. And I'm happy to report that the film Negs came back from the lab in pristine condition. No signs of light leaks. I hope this video is helpful to anyone who may feel intimidated about doing this repair. Trust me, if I can do it, so can you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at keithdodson.com.